Hello and welcome to yet another episode of the ACMI show, the show that explores the involvement of ACMI members, volunteers, and youth members as well. Today, not today, we've been filming multiple episodes in a single day actually. For this episode, I have Mazin Abukalov. Hello. Mazin. You might, heard, you might have heard of Mazin before. He's kind of everywhere. He's behind the cameras. He's on the microphone, uh, either as a host or as a guest on the podcast series, or he's making a short film. Mazin, I said a lot of what you do, but I don't think it's almost... It doesn't really show how much you've actually been doing ACMI. Do you want to talk about what you've been up to since you first started? Your freshman year of high school, probably before you were in the artist in middle school. Way group. before. Oh, yeah. you're right. All right. Let's, let's do a little biography then. Sure. Let's talk about how you first started being involved in media. Um, so my first involvement was a- with ACMI was all the way back in sixth grade. Um, sixth grade? The first year of Gibbs. We were the first class there. And um, yeah, we were the trailblazers, which uh, everyone hated, but whatever. Um, <laughs> A oh, wrong sound effect. I'm sorry. I'm still learning. I'm still learning the board. So yeah. So the first involvement was um, our drama club was having a cabaret. It was like a drama club performance, and um, I I was in the drama club. I did behind the scenes stuff mostly. Um, but one of the things I volunteered to do was to um, create a PSA for them. So create a short video that they could display on um, on television for ACMI and around the school for the drama club just so that they could um, get more people and that they'd know what we do. Um, So yeah, I asked uh, Miss Serafini, who is my art and drama teacher, and um, yeah, I haven't delivered it, (laughs) which is embarrassing. I'm sorry, Miss Serafini, if you're watching, but um, I still have it. Sixth grade, right? Sixth grade. And you're now entering your, you're now entering 10th grade. 10th grade. All right. And um, I walked into ACMI and there was like some, um, there was some program that you could learn editing, so I took that class, and they gave me a giant handbook called 101 Editing, or 101 Premiere Editing, I, and I, I... think I'm familiar with what you're talking <laughs> about. I never use it, but I, I, still know, have I know it. what it is. I still have it as memorabilia, and um, yeah, so I, I took that class, and then I got involved in editing, and I edited that cabaret video. That took me months, um, and then I just never delivered it. Oh, wow. <laughs> Hopefully she's still not waiting for it. I still have it, so maybe I'll send it. I don't know. It's All right. really bad, but I, I still like, have It's it. still summer period. You still have a lot of time, am I right? You should maybe. reach out. We should reach out to her. I should, yeah. And that was... That's my bad. So that was sixth grade, and then ever since then you've been involved with ATMI? I have. How so? Um, so what have you been doing sixth... How, what have you been doing in seventh and eighth grade before you entered high school? Well, I, seventh grade I don't... Okay, yeah, I do remember 7th grade. 8th grade, not so much. I didn't really do much because it was all remote. Um, all right, I forgot the time. Yeah, but 7th uh, grade, I, um, let's see, I was involved in the OMG, the Audison Media Group, where we uh, created uh, little projects, we made some animations, we did, um, I think, stop motion ones, stuff like that. And, um, yeah, we published it um, on, I think it was on the ACMI YouTube channel, but it was a very long time ago. Um, and I did some Teens Cook episodes, and that was like a thing. And, uh, and yeah, so I was involved with that. I, I filmed a couple of those episodes, and um, yeah, that's where I met a couple people that I'm still in contact with and doing intern stuff with today. So, yeah. All right, doing intern stuff today. You became an ACMI intern this summer, the summer of 2022. And, you know, just to really encapsulate of how easy it is to be involved with ACMI, whether you're volunteering or being an intern, it's just a matter of simply say asking. Yep. So we just give it to you. You ask to be an intern, you're like, all right, you're an intern now. And then we say, you, <laughs> you want to learn how to edit? All right, we'll teach you how to editing. edit on the spot using Adobe Premiere and whatnot. Yep. That's exactly how I did it. I asked um, ACMI staff member when I was learning some stuff, and... Uh, <laughs> And, um, yeah, and then he said, maybe, and then he brought it up with some other people, and then he said, sure, so. Yeah, because yeah. why not? And uh, everything, well, I was, gonna, I was about to go off topic, but just to show how easy it is to be an intern at ACMI, it's also very easy to fill out your community service hours, which I know every Arlington High School student needs to graduate. 
you finished your community service hours requirements already, right? Half a year. Half a year. All right. Half a school year. Half a school so like year. Four months. Yeah. Yeah. So plenty of opportunities. Yeah. Not not that I'm using community service hours as the only excuse to be involved, but because it's generally it's genuinely a lot of fun. Yep. It is. I did um, a lot of sports. I did. I don't know, seven seven months of doing sports on and off, and I did um, fall sports. <laughs> uh, I did. Um, let's see. I really enjoyed doing uh, football, and that was definitely my favorite. Um, I volunteered almost at every opportunity, I think, and I, I probably will again for the next fall season. Yeah. Um, and, and it's funny how sometimes you're throwing in a different position, and we just throw you live, like we teach you live on air. Yeah. Like that one time you were a game camera operator. I was like, all right. Right on the headset. All right, Mazin, this is how you become a game cam operator. I remember that, yep. <laughs> Good times. Yeah. What was your favorite memory, or what is currently your favorite memory of across all the different productions you've done? Hmm. That's interesting. Um, I would say... I mean, I enjoy editing the most, probably. I wouldn't say there's a specific memory of editing, because it's all, like pretty much the same but so so far that's your favorite aspect of being involved with ACMI is just being yeah. able to sit behind a computer and um, make visual art I like editing I like technical directing that's another thing I, I enjoy doing I've been doing the ACMI news I've been TDAing that for a couple weeks and um, that's that's been fun I right, tech directing that's sometimes a very intimidating <laughs> position for many people but it's a, it's a lot simpler than many people think how would you it describe is the TD experience or what the position really is. Taking directions and pushing buttons. Pushing buttons. Yep. Have you ever had any uh, very intense TD experiences, like a 10 camera shoot with graphics and playback and all that? Hmm. No. Not, huh? not 10 cameras. Um, but I, I had a few times where, it, it's hard to explain, but when you're at that desk, you usually have three fingers here. That's how you initially learn. You have three mm -hmm. fingers on this, one finger on that. But then when you have more cameras you can't do that so you have to like be ready to push any button it's just so much harder but um i i do remember a few sports um having a lot of cameras especially the uh graduation the hs graduation that was an experience yeah that um, was a fun one that was not fun <laughs> <laughs> i i had to go in front of everybody that was sitting in the audience and just like man the camera for for a while and that was Awkward. <laughs> Very important work. Yeah. The uh, 1,000 people that was watching it knew exactly what you're doing, and they definitely appreciate the work because yeah. how else are people going to watch their respected, respective family member graduate from like, high school? Yeah. But yeah, no, that was a six camera shoot. Very unique experience yeah. using many different softwares that you personally have never used before, and you're just learning on the fly. But yeah. uh, that's the beauty of broadcast production too. You don't know where it takes you. It, it took you to Reading, Massachusetts, the YMCA. It took you in front of the entire graduation ceremony. Now you know what it's like to be uh, on the field at a graduation ceremony four years in advance. Yep. But now you're entering your sophomore year. You've accomplished a lot. You've done a lot. What would you say to an incoming freshman to reel them in? I would say that even if you're not sure you would be interested in this in like a career or anything, it's still, still good to learn. Um, it's still fun. Even if it's not something you want to do professionally, it's still a good hobby. Uh, past, yeah, that's loud. Uh, yep. <laughs> farmer's market, everyone. We are at the farmer's market, and there's a cement truck <laughs> adjacent to us. Yeah. And they got the green light. All right. Nice. So, yeah, I'd say that even if you don't want to do professionally, don't want to do um, go to college for it, whatever, I'd say it's still a good opportunity, still good to put on your resume, it's still good to get that experience just in case you ever want to do it, and who knows, if you try it, maybe you'll like it and want to continue, and yeah, you get to meet people and collaborate on tons and tons of projects, and yeah, it's, um, it's been great. Actual facts, 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 and facts, all right. Mazin, thank you for your time, for being a host. Thank I'm you. sorry, you're not the host of this episode, but <laughs> yeah. you are for many episodes. Thank you for being the guest in this episode. This has no been problem. the ACMI Show, and we'll see you next time.